As part of efforts to improve revenue collection, the government of Barbados is embarking on modernizing its VAT collection process through online VAT collection. Government's special advisor on the economy, Dr. Avinash Prasad, tells us more. Probably in the next couple of months or so. Uh, so I expect certainly before the middle of this year. I think the most important thing for people to remember is this is not actually a new tax. It's simply a new way of collecting an existing tax. We're only collecting VAT on things that currently have VAT that should be paid on it, but for some reason it's not being paid. Perhaps because it's being purchased overseas on an online uh, website uh, and, um, and people have forgotten to pay the VAT. But now with this system, we will be collecting that. We reckon we're losing 50, five zero million dollars a year uh, through lost VAT as a result of people buying things online uh, and not paying the VAT. And so if we get that tax back, we'd be able to push that money back into the economy, back into our health system, back into our education, and perhaps even helping us to lower all of our tax rates. There's now a new technology that allows us to collect VAT on online purchases. As you can imagine, there are millions of websites around the world, but there are actually only a handful, perhaps two hands, of payment processes, the people who, who process the payments on all of these millions of websites, the PayPal's, the American Expresses, the MasterCard and Visa, they're a very small number of those. And now our agent uh, will, the agent for the BRA, will, will be sitting in all of those processes, looking at all of these transactions, making an assessment as to whether the you know, good being purchased uh, or service is going to be consumed in Barbados and if it is and and if VAT is eligible for that service it will be charged at the point of purchase. The only things that will be taxed are things that are currently taxed. So if for example you buy a hotel room, let's say you are a British tourist and you're going on a, a website and you're buying a hotel room uh, for a stay in Barbados the online processor knows that you're staying in Barbados. This is a, something you're going to consume in Barbados and the tax, the VAT is eligible. It's a special tourism VAT as we know, and it's a bit less than the 17.5%, uh, but it's still eligible and we are losing a lot of that VAT. People are not recording some of these payments, they're keeping it overseas and now we'll be able to collect the VAT. Many people feel that uh, this is going to have an impact on their online purchases. I imagine the largest amount of the VAT that will be collected is on hotel rooms, it's on car rentals, uh, it's on uh, villas. Uh, this is where people don't bring that thing into the port. It's already here. Uh, and that's where we're losing tax revenues. And that's where the bulk of the 50 million that we're losing is coming from. <music> So when you uh, are purchasing something online um, and uh, up will come uh, the payment page. So you decide you've clicked on this, and you want to buy this product uh, it, and, and it says, do you wish to pay? Uh, so you go to the payment page. The payment page is supplied by the payment processor and they will give you an invoice and it will say, this is the thing you're buying the payment processor will know whether VAT is eligible on that in Barbados. They won't be charging VAT on everything, only on those things which are eligible for VAT, which if you had bought in Barbados, you would have paid the VAT on. So it will break out the cost and say, this is the VAT, and so that when you print that out, you'd be able to show people you've paid your VAT, so no one can charge you twice on the VAT. Uh, and then when you click to purchase, you, the, the VAT is sent straight to the BRA and the rest of the payment uh, goes to the vendor. <music>